Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect by Shem Rakakwadash. My name is Yakabo from Planet Tables Camp of Philly. This is on retail theft. Retail theft will lead to RFID surveillance state. Should probably gonna name it that. So allegedly, he has something in his bag. So I didn't. He didn't have a camera on him. He's just trying to get the get the gun. Uh, so, at some convenience store, because he doesn't like point the camera at the guy, and then the employee uh, looks like he said he didn't have anything, but he must have saw him on surveillance or been looking at him or something, and or thought he looked suspicious or whatever. Because I don't. Well, he say he don't have anything. Let me. Take that back. Oh, no, just take that back. All right, I'll take it. Okay, now you get out. I don't have now you get out of the store. That's it. Out of the store. Bro, he got a pistol and you still yeah. talking, boy. Hold that. Hold that back. Open that back. Open. He's about to bust his ass. Open that back. 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 Open Huh? Let's see. Yeah, man. Alala. <laughs> yeah, the boy, Look at him, boy. He got the bustle. <laughs> yeah. He got the bustle. Check the bag. No, just check the bag. Okay, now you get out. Now you get out of the store. That's it. Out of the store. Well, you look like a fucking clown. I mean, well, again, if you ain't steal nothing, then don't don't give me your business no more. He pulled the strap out, and, and you ain't steal nothing. I, I would never come back to the store. Shit, I mean, that's it. So retail uh, theft is causing, you know, you saw the, I put retail theft will lead to RFID. It's causing, you know, them to get together and use technology to prevent retail theft, which is facial recognition, RFID tags. I think I just read an article. Uh, says, Radio frequency identification technology can be used to prevent retail theft. RFID tags can create an, al an alarm when products are attempted to be smuggled out, lock up products that have been stolen, track and identify stolen goods, provide data on what was taken, when and via which exit detect theft before it occurs track items that are frequently moved and often misplaced that's for you know to put the, the front face and all that and put the product back where it belongs so it's a lot of thievery and theft here now ultimately i'm bringing the scripture out first before i go to the videos and articles it says Revelation 13, 16, and he called it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right? That no man might buy or sell, save he had had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6, which is 666. That chai, chai, stigma. All right? And Mark is karagma all right which you're going to have to get this mark to buy and sell uh, so that's directly that's directly linked to these uh theft the retail theft all right so because people you know you got criminals out there and you know it's getting increasingly harder and harder so now you got more criminals becoming opportunists people that normally wouldn't Steal now they're finding you know it's just better you know to get the things you need you can supplement your supplement your income or your or lack thereof to uh with retail theft so we have a lot here we got target which is sure I already know about the target it says target closes nine locations over rising retail theft crime this is two weeks ago. Today's what, the 13th or something like that? 
Yeah, October 13th today. This is released September 26, 2023. Let that play. And Target is taking action in response to retail theft by announcing plans to close nine stores. Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma is here with the details. Brooke. Good afternoon, Josh. That's right. Just in from Target, they announced plans to close nine locations, saying that they cannot continue operating these stores because theft and organized retail crime are threatening the safety of its team and its guests and contributing to what they said was unsustainable business performance. Now, Prior to this decision to close those nine stores, the company said that they did take meaningful steps to invest in theft deterrent tools. But despite those efforts, fundamental challenges to operate those stores safely and successfully was not possible. Now, those stores, as you just saw, includes one in Harlem, New York, two in Seattle, Washington, three in San Francisco and Oakland, California market, and three in Portland, Oregon. Now, all of the team members that were are going to be impacted by these closures will be offered an opportunity to transfer to another target location. But in addition to shuttering those nine stores, the company is also taking the efforts that you could see right here. That includes payroll investments uh, to add more security team members, third party guard services, as well as add even more staff deterrent tools across stores and in some stores that even goes as far as implementing tools like locked cases for merchandise that they said is prone to theft. And lastly, the company is also investing time and Yeah, when I spoke to the National Retail Federation, they said that really in the past few years, this this problem has only picked up. We now know that in 2022, this was a $112 billion problem. Let me say that again, $112 billion. And that's up from 20, that's up 20% from the previous 2021 year when retail shrank accounted for $93.9 billion in losses. Now that new number that we have out today, that $112 billion number, about 67 percent of that is attributed to solely theft. And, you know, as I was speaking to experts at the National Retail Federation, what they were saying that we're only on the brink of understanding the full scope of the retail theft issue. When you think about, you know, how much is evolving, how much change is happening and how ultimately smart these organized retail thefts are getting. All right, I think you get the point there. All right, uh, let me see. That's coming to show at last. It says uh, unprecedented theft contributed to 112 billion in retail losses last year. It says latimes.com. No, I want to subscribe. All right. Rising retail crime is not just an American problem. UK businesses lost 2.13 billion last year. I guess they mean pounds. Pound sterling. It says on Sunday, uh, leaders from 88 retail retailers across the UK, including top bosses from Clark's. All right. UK Home Secretary uh, Sulia Braverman demanding action over rising rates. Of retail crime all right so yeah so what we believe is they're gonna start locking retail items up and b before you go in the store you have to be tagged with like a sales chip some type of sales device whether it be in your phone or wristband and if you are not shopping you either won't be able to be let in the store that means your children won't be able to let in the store or they have to be tagged with the same RFID identification, whether it be on your phone or a wristband, and eventually it's going to be in your hand or your arm. All right. But you know, as we uh, teach gradualism, they're going to gradually implement these measures. All right. So we got this is the W I O N. I believe that's the Indian uh, paper, if I'm not mistaken. I forget. Let's let it play. Indian uh, news publication. 
while the UK is dealing with another crisis. Increasing levels of shoplifting and theft. The British Retail Consortium estimates the cost of theft in the sector at $1.24 billion every year. Now, a report says several retail giants are reporting losses worth millions of dollars due to theft. A meeting of owners of several departmental stores last week said the UK is witnessing an epidemic of shoplifting. Clothing chain Primark said its profit margins have been hit by increased theft. The supermarket chain Tesco said rising store crime pushed them to offer their staff body cams. In a joint letter, industry groups called on forces to make it easier for retailers to report crime and share evidence. They also urged police forces to catch repeat offenders and take them off the streets. Senior police officials vowed to bring down the theft levels. However, they also acknowledged the lack of police resources due to which the forces are unable to meet policing demands. I think that was it on that. Uh, we got Walmart CEO. Theft is an issue. Issue. It's higher than what it's historically been, and we've got safety measures, security measures that we put in place by store location. I think local law enforcement being staffed and being good, a good partner is, is part of that equation, and that's normally how we approach it. That's not corrected over time. Prices will be higher right. and or stores will close. Right. It's really city by city, location by location. It's store managers working with local law enforcement, and we've got great relationships there for the most part, and that's the way we approach it. But theft is an issue. It's higher than what it's That prices will be higher if that's not if if we don't tackle the issue. Uh, prices will be higher. So this is Amazon January twentieth, twenty twenty two. Amazon's first physical store for men and women's fashion. So this is making it look good, making it look stylish. Let's let this play. This is all done through the phone. You don't really need this music. It's all done through the phone. Just scanning a QR code, look like. And putting it, yep, QR codes. So I'm not sure if. If they do that, the store does that, and it's waiting in there for you. So you add it to the cart to try on, and it goes to a set your section. Now, obviously, if those items disappear, you're going to be billed. All right. So it's convenient, but it's convenient with control. Ultimately, all these convenience is going to lead up to you receiving the, the implant. Yeah. And your hand or your arm. And she walks out. And she has a mask on. Oh, this is, yeah, January 2022. All right. Let's go to Target Shop with the Arrested. A little chase there. Gwinnett County. Tonight, police say they have identified now new de new de new details now after a violent shoplifting incident at the Home Depot on Jimmy Carter Boulevard in Norcross. Tonight, police say they have identified two suspects and they need your help tracking them down. We first showed you these photos two weeks ago, showing 43 year old Tony Demps and 19 year old Deshaun Dukes. The pair is accused of running off with hundreds of dollars worth of power tools after knocking over a 66 year old employee who's now recovering from a severe head injury. Police say the two are wanted in a string of retail thefts, and you're asked to please contact the Gwinnett County Police Department if you have any information that can help. All right, what else we got? You should have already seen this one. July 6, 2023. <laughs> Hold 
Yeah, those look like in, Hon in Honolulu. All right, they stop them. It says, um, you're not imagining it. Stores are locking up everything. Yeah. Yeah, so I can see this definitely leading to you have to be registered before you go into the store. And if you have little people with you, then you want to put a, a some kind of wristband on them and... Every product you touch, well, that's how Amazon Go works. When you put it into your cart, it registers. Now, you can just, well, to get in, you got, you have to register to get in. You can't, it's going to be an alarm go off if you don't have, if you're not registered when you walk in. All right. This is April 2nd, 2022. All right. It says, former police chief accused of shoplifting from Walmart. So it's, it's getting real bad out here. This morning, a former police chief caught shoplifting at a local Walmart. This morning, a former police chief caught shoplifting at a local Walmart. Yeah, this happened in, in the villages last week. Sumter County deputies say Christopher Rads, who you see right here, was stopped by loss prevention. Security allegedly saw the 59-year-old pick up several items, put them in a plastic bag, and head out the store without paying. Officials say Rats worked as a police chief in Illinois. At a local Walmart. Just noticing this... <laughs> lady right here yeah you look like this you ain't gonna make it i can't i can't see it that's man is this a dude couldn't agree and they hired this chick where is this at orlando are they in florida god damn Whew, man oh should have already seen this one too i think this is <laughs> looking at it <laughs> why are you moving all fast for Take your time, man. Oh, Dan, he's walked out there? Oh, shit. CBS thieves caught on camera. Somebody's cell phone on camera. Anybody got surveillance, too. So I had armed security guards at the doors now. I seen the Wawa where I live. Uh, so armed security guard. I don't know if he armed, uh, but yeah, I, did, I never saw him there before. Saw him within the past couple of um, couple of weeks or months. Right there. Let's see what's on. Shit, bro. We oh, it's comedy shit. All right. Uh, what else we got? Uh, oh, probably already seen that one. All right. So we got RFID tags prevent retail shoplifting. This is 2021. It says, Mojix, why retailers are turning to RFID for loss prevention. I mean, I believe what they're going to do, they're going to tag the uh, items. And you have to use a, a machine to disconnect the um, the tag. So when they steal it, they know they know what exit it went out of, etc. There's no global positioning on the um, on the tags as of yet. You know, they may come up with an inexpensive solution to make a global positioning uh, affordable f for each um, item, and then they can definitely track them more. Then thieves going to find a way to disable that too. But the point is that RFID and all those retail theft they're converging together. All right. And we got how Americans, how America's biggest retailers, retailers plan to use technology to catch organized retail theft. July 29th, 2023. We got Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Walgreens are among major retailers that have 
complained about the rise of organized retail theft causes uh, cases in which shoplifting is becoming is being committed at a level of of criminal gangs and so they studied studying this at in universities launched in 2000 with funding from target and based at the university of florida in gainesville the law prevention research center all right so they, that's uh, criminal criminal studies and retail theft they they study all that to come up with this technology to reduce and prevent theft all right walmart target lowe's kroger's macy's cvs and other major retailers are teaming up with technology companies to develop and employ next generation video surveillance systems facial recognition cameras license plate and vehicle readers autonomous security robots yeah this hospital i go to in the uh you got to be uh rfid badge down they have this little robot that drives around and check out what's going on with cameras and shit. And a couple of times when I deliver to a certain door, I come out and the damn robot at the damn door. What the hell is this robot following me? So apparently there are things that you can steal down there. I don't know. Yeah, I see that little fucker following me around. Maybe because of my skin tone or something. Uh, it says smart cases, secure what, security robots, radio frequency identification tags, smart case locks, and predictive analytic software. Analytic, analytic software. Yeah, you you stand around looking at power tools too long. Cause power tools are a hot item, man. I need some power tools. I need some more. I need a electric impact with like an extended battery and all that. You know, drills, all you know, different drills and cutters and stuff. Um, while uh, versions of this style of security tech have been in place for years, they're now being superpowered by AI. Yeah, which is just more uh, information to predict and to predict, uh, you know, to know what to do. It's more information, more data all right got karagma so this is the the system in which is going to be a cure a cure all a mir miracle to uh, prevent the thefts, thefts security identification all right so i'll leave that there Hope you edify it. Shalom.